Okay, so we created this add marker method, um, and that allows us to you know add a marker to the database. But let's go back to the main activity, and right after the open, we're just gonna do data dot add marker new marker object, and we will you know what we don't we're not using an ID so. Um, you know what? We'll just uh, we'll make it. We'll we'll make a new um. We'll make a new constructor really quickly. Uh, let's see my marker object. And instead of putting this ID in here. Just take it out and take out that one, save it, and then we'll come back and we'll use the one without the ID and we'll put a string in here. And this is the title, which is, we'll say Twitter. And we'll say uh, the snippet is Twitter HQ and the position let's see so the position is this and I just got that from I, I had pasted that there very early on in the tutorial so um, if you didn't see that part that's that's why it was down there um, and then you know what we can just comment this out so we make sure we don't actually see both of these or you know what, we can actually uncomment that and just comment out the function call right here. There. Now we'll run it again. Okay. And then we'll scroll over to Twitter. Whoa. And of course, it's not going to be there because um, I completely forgot. We haven't got. We haven't made our. Uh, our get markers or get all markers uh, function so I guess we'll have to do that next